Hey, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a painting. It's got a house in it, a small barn, but it's got a big road. It's got a close up road right here. Going to have pine trees across the back. It's kind of a country setting, country scene right here. May even have a pond, I'm not sure yet. But that's what we're going to do today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching. All right, let's get started on our sky. This is just going to be a simple little sky today. Nothing major. Just a little Prussian blue is what I got right here. A little Prussian blue. Make it a little darker. Especially on the edges here. Around the top. I did put liquid white up here, by the way. So there is some liquid white up here. That's close to all we want. Because this is all going to be pine trees or some type of trees right there. Probably pine, I would say. Let's try a fan brush. Let's, let's experiment. Since i got to do so, so many of them here, I want to see which one's the quickest. This might be quicker. I did pine trees the other day and I could not remember what I used. I'm going to do a row, then I'll come below it and do a row. You know, to make it look more natural. If you want it to look as natural as you can, That means varying your collars and all that good stuff. Varying the size of the trees. One tree's taller than the other one. I'll even take a touch of ochre and throw in here on occasion. I didn't do too much to it there. But you know, you can tell that they're pine trees, and that's, that's really all about all you can ask for. We're just going to keep going here. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do this whole thing right here, and then we'll come back and do that. All right, I got my pine trees put in there. I think they look pretty good. And yeah, we, you know, we start from the furthest away and come forward, so now I'm going to start on the uh, start on the grass line back in here. I'm just taking some pure yellow. It may not look like pure yellow, but it is. I just have a dirty brush. It's okay. It don't have to be perfect. And the furthest away is going to be lighter. As we come closer, it'll be darker. I'm just getting around these trees right now. Go ahead and throw some real light yellow in everywhere toward the rear of the painting. And just keep putting some because this is pretty far away back in here. We want lots plenty of yellow paint to show distance. This is cad yellow light. I mean, I really like it. It's a nice paint, nice color. It's not expensive either. It's the Winston and Newton, I guess. I think is the name of it. It's about a. It's a mid-priced kind of paint. 
I don't see any reason to pay any more than what that cost for paint because it's I think it's pretty good. And as you can see, I'm just throwing random colors in. I'm gonna take my one inch brush and I'll smear all this out real good here in just a second. I'm just putting color where I think it probably needs it. Start with some green, start changing into green. Down in here, start changing over. This is my third painting of the day. I want to, I still have a lot of color in my palette. I want to try to use up some color so I don't have a lot of extra paint left over. And I'm going to take a little blue, throw here in the foreground. Maybe a little red. I got some red left over. Some more blue. So a lot of blue here. A little bit here and there, just to, it'll turn green anyway, blue and yellow. Just to kind of vary it up a little bit. Okay, now for my road area, I'm actually going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to take some white. This is kind of a bluish tone because I had blue on my brush. And I'm just going to throw some random colors in here also. And then I want to mix them all up. Get a little yellow ochre. I don't like that blue too well. Some yellow ochre. We want varied colors. I'm going to take some burnt sienna, just kind of a dark color. You see, today, look at the painting. The sun is coming down this direction. So it'll be darker on the this side of the road. I'm just throwing colors in. Take some burnt umber, which is brown. See, it's a little darker than the sienna, but it's a good color too. And throw in a little blue. That sounds crazy, don't it? Why not? Now I'm going to mix all this up. I'll be back. All right, as you can see, I went ahead and I mixed all these collars up. This is not completely wet. This is like, a, let's see, I did this maybe a day or two ago. I just let it sit around and dry and worked on some other paintings. But I pulled out the big fan brush. This is a number 12. And I'm going to go ahead and start working. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, all the grass here and get that get that knocked out before I do anything else here, such as the buildings. But I'm gonna go around. This is a pretty far distance back here in the back. This is gonna get real bright yellow toward the hillside. This is pretty bright. It's gonna get darker as we get closer. You can use a one inch brush if you want. I, I prefer fan brushes for stuff like this. It's just my preference. But you can use a one inch brush. You could use a two inch brush if you wanted. I just kind of like the way this looks. You know, it's kind of the texture it puts on. I just like the way they look using a fan brush. But you can use whatever you would like. There's no rules. Say so one way is better than another. And I'm going to take a little ochre. Go ahead and mix it, mix it in. And I'm going to start. Can't really see that very well, can you? Let me get a little bit more. I'm actually mixing it with the yellow here. Yeah, you can see it a little better now. I'm just going to start bringing it forward. I don't want a whole big bunch of texture yet until it gets closer. So 
So I'm going to try to keep the texture down just a little bit. Because you can make some good texture with the fan brush. But I don't want it starting just yet. I want to get a little closer to the front of the picture because this is pretty far back still. When I see something that has too much texture, I'll try to blend it out. But I want to get between these buildings here. So this is, see I'm getting this on these buildings. That's why I wanted to go ahead and do the grass first. No point in doing it twice if you can do it get it done one time right and I'm gonna take a little more yellow and just kind of just kind of mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna get ready to hit the greens here in a minute just give it the far away look with these brighter colors I run some yellow down the front here Looks like that's what I was kind of intending to do anyway, from the looks of it. And a little yellow, because I want the sun to be coming down this way today. A little yellow right in here. Now I'm going to start throwing some greens in. I just got a pile of green right there, I'm just mixing it up. Tone that down. I don't want too much texture yet. A little bit more over here. And this, and I'm just going to keep going until I get, until I get all this finished right here, and I'll be back when it's finished. I went ahead and finished up my grass here a little bit I think I want to put some trees over in here maybe a maybe a little pond I think it needs a pond right there but I went ahead and did my first coat on my houses right here the house in the barn I'm gonna work on this driveway or driveway I guess it is a driveway work on this road here a little bit I'm gonna take some white and just a touch of ochre and I'm gonna start pulling this out a little bit this has a bluish tint to it, and I, I don't like that too well. It's bothering me. So I'm going to go ahead and at least get started on it. I don't know if it'll, how it'll look right now, but get rid of some of this bluish tint that's on here. This is still pretty, yeah, it's still pretty wet right there. So I'm just going to have to lightly go over it just to try to get rid of some of that. I obviously had blue on my brush when I did that. I remember when I was doing it, it was looking kind of bluish, and I thought, meh, yeah, it'd be all right. Well, maybe it wouldn't, I don't know. And now that it's blue, I don't like it. Blue's a foreground color. Anyways, I mean, I use it in the front area. But I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with this here a little bit. This road. It don't look too bad, but I just want it to look better like we all do when we paint. We just want it to look a little better. And as it comes closer, we're going to start getting it a little darker. I got a nice pile of something here. It looks like ochre and brown that I made the other day, which would probably work really well right here. Sometimes I'll put I'll put a pile of something I make and set it set it to the side, and if I can use it within a day or two, I will. Because after that, it's no good. 
Now, if this was acrylic paint, you could never do that, but oil paint, you can leave it set around a little bit, a day or two. See, it's already getting a little tacky. You don't want to set around any longer than a day or two. But you know, you come back sometimes and you find a use for it, that way you don't have to waste it. I just don't like wasting paint. I guess it's not a big deal to waste paint, but I just don't like to. I don't like wasting anything, really. Don't want to be a waster. It's not looking too bad. Getting better. I might let this drop just a little bit down in this area to get it the way I want it. Give me a bigger brush. Pull out the big boy. Uh, let's put some burnt sienna in this road. See, look at that. That's a reddish brownish collar. I really like it. I use it in my trees a lot. Rocks. I bought a little tube uh, a few years ago. I didn't use much of it. It lasted me for a long time. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy a big tube. And I bought a 200, I guess it's 200 milliliter. I guess it's a milliliter tube. It's a, one of them big tubes. And now i got so much of it, <laughs> i got to use it on everything just to get rid of it. If I don't, I'll have it for years. And there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. But I don't want to have it forever, so i got to use it now. Burnt sienna. But it's a good color. So you can find uses for it. See, I like that. I like how it looks. You could probably get the same effect just mixing red and brown together. Because I like that color too. And it's kind of what it looks like, really. Yeah, that road's looking pretty good. I'm going to throw a little blue in here now. It's getting closer. Mix it up. Get it dark. Throw in a little, little brown. A little more blue right in here. So you just want varied, random collars. That's what you're looking for. Okay, looks like we it is time to do our fence post. I snuck in a tree over here on you while you wasn't looking. I'm going to start right in here, and we're going to work our way up. I don't know. I might put some here. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to set my palette down because i got to steady myself here a little bit on these first ones. I think I'm going to start right there. Try not to make them too far apart. It almost looks like they're a little too far apart already. Let's see. Let's fix that a little bit. I'm going to have to switch brushes here in a second. Because they're going to get bigger. Okay, let me, s let me see this brush here. How much bigger? Okay. Let's use this brush. I don't want to be too much bigger, but I do need it bigger. Oh, probably there. 
kind of stem I think might even need to be bigger than that because they are getting starting to get bigger quick I'll have to stand back and look at this here in a minute make sure I've got the right perspective going pretty decent sized um, by the time they get to the back here like I said I might need to make these a little bigger still let's take a look That's close. That's close. Maybe this one. Real close. I'll just have to I'll just have to stand back and take a look at it again here in a second. I think I'll go ahead and do this side too. I think it might look alright. Do a little bit on my brush. And I'm probably gonna start. I don't know if I I don't really think I need to start way back let me start right there this is just black and brown that's all it is black and brown what will make this look kind of cool is I'm going to put shadows of all these fence posts and that'll look kind of cool I think They are progressively getting bigger. As we're coming toward the front. Just kind of look at it, make sure they're not getting I'm not getting carried away with the size. Kind of got to compare them to over here. I might have room for one more. Or should I stop? Hmm, tough call on that one. I don't know. I'm just going to think I might just. I don't know. Let's try it. Can't be afraid of it, can you? <laughs> Just got to go for it all right I think we're finished I put a few bushes in here and the thing I like the best I put some hay back here got me a little sign hay for sale I think that's kind of cool hey don't forget if you want to see more videos like and subscribe and thanks for watching